Now then, welcome to this first edition of Easy English. We're in the city of York to find out what it's all about and what the people like the most. Let's go. So here we are on Clifford's Tower, one of the main monuments in York. Um, can I ask you, what's your favourite part of York? Uh, I think it has to be the cathedral. Uh, it's uh, yeah, lots of history, nice place to visit, and it's warm, especially when it's a day like today. Um, I'd say the wall, the wall itself that we're on now. Yeah, the museum gardens. I used to sit there all the time and read a book, and it's just so beautiful. Town. <laughs> Town? Townsman, yeah. Grant Trees Park. Everything. I don't know, I've lived here all my life so I kind of take it for granted. My favourite part of York, probably this street, it's really pretty, and the shambles as well. Here we are on the shambles, the most popular street in all of York, both with tourists and pot pie fanatics alike. What makes the perfect Yorkshire pot pie? Well what you need is good quality core ingredients, so we use a free range pot from Anna's Happy Trotters, we use our own seasoning and then we make our own pastry, so that's why our pot pies are the best in York really. Sounds good enough to me. What's your favourite Yorkshire food? Yorkshire pudding. Yorkshire pudding. Could you explain? Uh, could you explain what that is? The Yorkshire pudding. Oh, it's a mix. It's a batter, which is done cooked in the oven. Is there uh, any aspects of York that you like the best? The city, the people, the food, the shambles. Yes, the shambles. shambles. The, yeah. minster. the minster. Yeah, yeah. definitely yes. the minster. Yeah, yeah. There's so many things yes. to see. I don't know whether they've. Viking Centre still here as well, the York. Yeah, it's is that gate, is yeah. it? Is it still there? Yeah. So we've managed to find ourselves a real Viking. In your opinion, what makes Vikings from York different from Vikings in, say, London or Oxford? Well, firstly, there aren't any Vikings in London and Oxford, so that's that's kind of a major thing. You've got Anglo-Saxons down there. <laughs> Tell us how the name of York has changed. Well, essentially, when the Romans were here, it was called Eberarchum, and what that means is fort. When the Romans left, you've got the Anglo-Saxons, and they called it Eforic, and when they left, the Vikings came and that's when you get Jorvik from. After the Vikings left the Normans came and you have York with an E and then you have the great vowel shift in the 1800s and that's when the E is dropped and you have York. But York essentially comes from the Viking word Jorvik. If you were to describe the people of York to, uh, to anybody, uh, how would you describe them? Purple. We are Yorkshiremen and we believe in looking after ourselves and our friends and families, Yorkshire. We are proud to be Yorkshire, basically. Generally very nice. I don't want to spoil your film, but there's a lot of herberts on the night. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of, it can be really rough. Very homely. Mostly helpful, yeah, and uh, yeah, always, always like smiling, yeah. So, some people, you walk about to them and they're like, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> but then um, young people are quite aggressive, but squirrel. we're not squirrels. Nice and open, nice and friendly. A bit cotton wool wrapped. Um, people feel very comfortable here and you can get trapped here very quickly, very easily. There's a lot of variety here. York isn't very accepting of people who are different. You know, if you've got pink hair or anything. I was a punk in York before I moved away to join UK subs. And if a Roman was to manage to find their way back into York, how would you describe York to them? How would we describe York to a Roman? Better than when you left it, is, is, I think is the best way to describe it. There's also a lot of history here as well, isn't there? Yeah, the Romans yeah. and uh, the predecessors who left us all the wonderful buildings. Guy Fawkes, amongst others. Guy Fawkes was born here. If an alien were to land here right now, um, how would you describe the city of York to them? I am an alien. Yeah. Um, traditional England, really. It's uh, nothing like Hungary. <laughs> grim. Grim. Gr <laughs> grim, yeah, really grim. It's run by a council who believe in nothing but money and tourism. A lot of stone. I'd say it's stony. Yeah. <laughs> stone. Stony. <laughs> yeah, we'd probably take him for a beer and see how we could make some money out of him. A nice Yorkshire ale. Exactly. If an alien were to land in this pub right now and asked you what the city of York was, how would you describe it? Um, historic, friendly, uh, good beer and uh, just lovely surroundings. Good beer, I'll drink to that one. Cheers. 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 Thank you very much. <sighs> Cracking ale that, Ben. Viking Raw! Oh my god. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Thanks. 